I think I think there's also the tax component because if you look at the adjusted tax rates, so the nominal tax rates are what they are. You look at the effective tax rates from back in the time of Eisenhower, the 1950s, all the way until now. Like You're not wrong. The, the highest earners are actually paying less taxes. You're than right. They were so back effective then. versus marginal, right? Yeah, so, so I pay a higher tax rate than Jeff Bezos. Which is I do. How can anyone defend that? Right, and so um, and they shouldn't. It's wrong. And actually, my friend and I just talked about this the other day. I, I can't defend. How on earth is that fair? It isn't. Yeah. And so part of it is crony loopholes that environmentalists have put in. Actually, this is where the green energy scam is a scam. Why is Bezos play not pay nothing in taxes? He puts solar panels on it. Like there's that's part of it. He can, he can write off a lot of stuff. Okay, that's not um, the first place I would go. I would I would well, say lobbyists and corporate lobbyists fine. have written so many loopholes into the tax code. Yeah, of course. So I mean, like this is all stuff we'll agree on, right? And yeah. so the question is this: What do we do about it? The Bernie Sanders approach is, okay, the government's bought by big, big business. Let's make that government that's bought by big business bigger. Or let's purge the government. Of well, the that's issues. idealistic. You know that is. I mean, but so, it's an admirable goal. It's a goal. Yeah. I, I agree with a lot of it, right? So, But I, I, by definition, do not believe, in most senses, a heavier hand of government is a good thing for human flourishing. I'm open-minded okay. to certain prudent interventions here and there. However, as a general rule, government will mess it up. It'll be corrupt. It'll be inefficient. And it's not good. Look at the state of California. you got more public you know, sector official employees than you could count. And generally, we still have a budget surplus, though. Yeah, you got yeah. people leaving. Red states have you, you got you got oh, people yeah. leaving. You got high tax rates, high regulation. You're losing population for the first time ever. There's you, definitely things that can be. Improved. I Absolutely. think we both agree there's yeah. things that can be done. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the question is, what do you do about it, right? Well, the, the other thing is that I mean, we're on the verge of a very radical political moment. And I, every, every one of you guys have been lied to your whole life. College is largely a scam. I talk about it all the time. You shouldn't go to college. Maybe you guys like it. I think it's a waste of time. Um, and I think a lot of young people are going to have a lot of pent up anger and frustration at the system that they have all the student loan debt. They can't find jobs. They're renting. They're not owning. It's too expensive to have kids. And they're going to entertain some super radical politics. And so my opinion is like conservatives better like present like a national recovery plan that normal people can invest in. And like there's been a couple people here and there, but most most people, most of you guys don't believe in this woke crap. You just don't like this woke stuff is damaging to the soul. Looting is wrong. We shouldn't have to say that. You don't don't defund the police. Like all this stuff's insane. Like and so I believe eighty percent of Americans agree with that. But I mean, when it comes to the woke stuff and the social issues, I feel like most people here our philosophy is live and let live. If someone wants to be transgender. Yeah. Or oh, okay. Wants to be gay, I, I, let, I, them, I, let them do what they until want. Until I got to use pronouns by force. Until you teach five year old stuff that's super radical, right? It's live and let live until you got a homeless man defecating on your front lawn. And someone's, you know, burning That's away. It's already illegal. Like no one. Well, it's on your property. Hold on. There, there's, there's decriminal, there's decriminalization of vagrancy and homelessness and things that are happening.